Hello guys, in this video, we will move the message to dead letter Q from our C sharp code. Then we will also read that message from dead letter Q. As of now, consider dead letter Q as a sub Q of a Q. Okay. So we are in Azure portal and we have opened that queue and it says one. That means there is one message in this queue. Let's say pick from start. I click this. See, so we have one message and the contents are error message. Let's move it to dead letter. Okay. And if you observe one more thing for this dead letter, it shows zero. That means there is zero message in dead letter and there is one message in queue. Okay. So let's move this message to dead letter from our C sharp code. So we are in Visual Studio. So we have this connection string to connect to our Azure Service Bus queue in portal. Queue name, the queue from which we will read message. Then we created Service Bus client using connection string. We created Service Bus receiver using Service Bus client and that queue name. And on this line number 18, we are actually reading the message from the queue that is this message okay see this error message let's move it to dead letter so this line number 18 will read that message okay and now let's move this message to the dead letter so we'll say service bus await service bus receiver dot we'll say dead uh, dead letter message async and let's pass the message to it okay so let's add a de debugger over here and let's run our program. So the debugger has been hit and first of all, uh, if I cross check the contents of this message, uh, see the body that is error message, let's move it to dead letter. So we have correctly received the message from Q and now let's cross check in portal if that message has been moved to dead letter. So again here I will simply refresh it and you see now Q shows zero messages and dead letter shows one messages. So we'll click on that, pick from start and if I tick this checkbox see the message is there but now it's been moved to dead letter okay and now let's try to read this message from dead letter Q. So uh let's read message from dead letter q so for that we will create a receiver for dead letter q so we'll say we are receiver for dead letter q is equal to service bus client dot create receiver Again, we will create receiver for that Q name only, but in addition, we need to provide additional options and what are they? We will say new service bus receiver options. Okay. Here I will say sub Q is equal to sub Q dot dead letter. Now, what this essentially does is this service bus client will create a dead, uh, will create a receiver for a dead letter queue within this queue right so now let's try to read the message from this dead letter queue so where message uh, i'll say obtained from dead letter queue is equal to i'll say await receiver for dead letter queue dot uh, receive message or see and that's it let's save it and one more thing we'll comment this line that is line number 21 because that line now moves the message to dead letter but we have already moved that message to dead letter queue and now we are simply trying to read message from dead letter queue okay so let's run our program So the debugger has been hit and if I take my mouse to this variable that is message obtained from dead letter Q and if I expand this you see the body that is error message let's move it to dead letter Q and that message we have actually retrieved from dead letter Q 
okay so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening